In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smooth gradient background in After Effects both quickly and easily. Let's jump to the tutorial. Let's begin by creating a new composition. I'll name it Render, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds for the duration. Click OK. Then let's enable the transparency grid. After that, select the shape tool. You can choose any shape. I'll, I'll just select the rectangle tool. Then make sure the fill is set to a solid color and it is set to a white color. Then make sure the stroke is set to none. We don't need any stroke. Then simply create shapes to fill the composition. Make sure to leave some space between them. And also make sure that the shapes are not getting cut off by the edges of the composition. So just keep creating shapes. Once you fill the composition with shapes, make sure that all of them are in one shape layer, just like I have right here. Then let's go to the effects and presets, search for drop shadow and add it to the shape layer. Then go to the effect controls, set opacity of drop shadow to 100% and increase the distance to something like 100 or 120. Once you do that, make sure that the drop shadow does not go outside of the composition edges. Then let's search for motion tile, you also add it to the shape layer. Then make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for tile center. Then go to the end of the timeline and then set the X value for the tile center to negative 960. This will allow us to have a seamless loop, meaning that the first and the last frames of the composition are identical. So we shouldn't notice the point where the composition starts playing over again, as you can see. After that, we can uh, right click the shape layer and pre-compose it. And you can name this uh, whatever you want. I'll just name it shapes. Let's toggle the transparency grid to remove it. Then go to effects and presets, search for tint. Add it to the shapes pre-comp, then search for directional blur, add it, then search for twirl and also add it to the pre-comp. So the reason we made our shapes black and white is to easily change their color using tint. So I'm mapping the black to this purple right here and mapping white to a light blue. You can choose your own colors, of course, you don't have to follow me exactly, but that's what we get. Then for the directional blur, set the direction to 30 degrees and set blur length to 800. And for the twirl, let's set the angle to 50 degrees and twirl radius also to 50. And that is what we get in the end. Now we just need to create a background layer for this. So go to layer, new solid, I'll name this BG. And for the color, I'm choosing the other uh, purple that we mapped black to and making it really, really dark like this. So click OK. And make sure the background layer is underneath the pre-comp Let's do a quick preview of our background. In case if you don't like how the corners look, you can select the shapes pre-comp, press S on the keyboard, and set scale to 110 to cut those corners out. And this is how our smooth gradient background looks in the end. In case if you don't like the colors of it, you can always go back to tint and use any colors of your choice. It is super easy and super simple. At this point, you can add titles or anything of your choice on top of the background. And since we made a seamless loop, we don't see a point where the composition starts playing over again. So you can really easily use this background for, as an overlay for your videos or streams. So anything of your choice. Yeah, at this point, the tutorial is complete. I hope you enjoyed uh, and learned something new. If you did, leave a like. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.